here's social security i'm laughing but social security is a disaster like really it's a disaster right here's social security here's a whole bunch of people working class they don't have mad offs <laughs> not that you want mad offs right here's a whole bunch of people here's the government right told those people that they have to give a certain amount of money in taxes burn by bernie <laughs> they have to give a certain amount of taxes into social security right and the government says you work for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, let's say 30 years. When you get old, right? When you get old, there's going to be a bunch of these people, certain percentages ain't going to be around no more, right? They're done. So let's take five people and make, you know, let's say four of them survive to the ripe old age of 65, right? So let's say they're working from the time they're 25 right years old 30 years you're 55 years old years old now these guys are putting money into social security right and the government runs their numbers and says social security is going to be returning i don't know what it is three percent per year four percent per year five percent per year so whatever money that these people have put in right over the years and it's not in one lump sum right as you work you put money into social security into retirement or whatever it is in my part of the world you work until you are 62 and then you get you get your pension okay and the kicker is how much is that pension really going to buy right because they haven't accounted for inflation right so shows social security pension your retirement plan assumes that there's two percent inflation per year right 2% inflation in my part of the world anyway, right? So when these guys give money to the government, the government promises them a certain return when they reach 55 or 62, because I think 55 is the earliest that you can start collecting social security. I believe so anyway, right? So 30 to 40 years to 40 years, right? So it could be 65 years or 62 a stick says right the government says hey we're going to give you a certain amount of money per year or per month okay and the government the numbers what they've done they've counted on more people joining the workforce throughout this 30 years right and contributing to this fund right so they're expecting money to be coming in okay they're expecting money to to be coming in they're expecting two percent inflation okay that means they need to be paying out on the social security when they because when they get the money they're not just sitting on the money they're making the money work so they're expecting interest rates to be more than two percent right they're expecting for there to be interest so the fund that, that they have actually grows so there's two gro growth factors in there jjt how are you doing welcome to a live stream so there's two growth factors there there's a growth from interest and there's the growth from people putting money into the funds right so what's the problem in the western world for the last 10 plus years okay two problems the workforce has gone down so there isn't as much money going into this social security fund the other thing is right now interest rates are sitting at negative zero or negative so for the last 10 years right you're sitting at zero percent so this fund hasn't been growing right meanwhile they've been paying people off because if you think about it this isn't one group every year there's more people retiring 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 
So the government social security is dependent on growth. They need growth in interest and they, or they need interest rate to be at a certain level and they need the workforce to be constantly pumping money into this thing. The workforce is not constantly pumping money here because a lot of people, young people are out of work. The job market is not there, right? Automation kicking in. The, the economy is not as healthy as you assume it is, right? Or they tell you it is. And interest rates have been sitting at 10%. There goes their mathematics. Their functions are gone. Their assumptions are done for, right? So they're running out of money to pay people up, right? And growth from new people coming to your country. And growth from, yeah, sticks. And growth from new people coming into your country. But the new people coming to your country, they're a higher, a higher to lower wage. So again, it's less funds going in, right? So no matter how you look at it, there's desperation in governments right now trying to increase the money here because they know people need to be paid out, right? What's been happening? Governments have been running out of money. So they're telling people, okay, you can't retire 55, you can't retire 65. Like Greece is one example. Now retirement, they're kicking it down the road and saying, okay, 68 years old. When you're 68, you can get your money back, right? Or, or you can start applying for Social Security, right? And get money. Here's another way they've been doing it. Let's say they promise these people a thousand dollars a month, right? They don't have a thousand dollars a month to pay people. When these guys retire, when they're retiring, they're expecting a thousand dollars a month. All of a sudden, the government, the company, the county, whoever's been managing their money, turns to them and says, look, we can't give you a thousand. We're going to give you 500. $500 a month. Now, these people who are retiring, who are expecting to get a thousand to be able to live, to be able to pay rent, to be able to pay their taxes, buy food, right? All of a sudden, their income's cut in half. Now, this isn't hearsay. This isn't what could happen. This is exactly what has been happening in certain parts of the world in the united states this is exactly what has been happening okay this increase in retirement age is exactly what has what's been happening right so i tell people younger than 65 55 or whatever it is right if you expect social security money to come to you to be worth anything for you to buy anything you're out of your mind. You gotta worry. You gotta think about your own retirement, right? You gotta think about your own finances. You better learn your mathematics because if you think a centralized institution is here to take care of you and they've done their math the right way, all their assumptions in play, you're out of your mind, right? Now you have to work until you're 70 and longer five hundred dollars today don't even pay the rent no don't even pay they don't even pay nothing like really it doesn't pay anything five hundred dollars five hundred dollars a month what does that do oh that's like that that that's a phenomenal income for a high level youtube person right? that has over a hundred thousand subscribers right crazy like we don't i don't not not even this right i can't wait to learn how to do decentralized math sounds messy no it's not decentralized math is is pretty easy it's pretty easy don't believe what centralized institutions tell you that's the first thing about decentralized math but making people work until 68 years old makes it harder for younger people to get the job. It's a cycle. It's a perpetual. It's, it, it's a feedback loop, JJ. It literally is a feedback loop. That's what we're seeing right now. 